What's up guys? Just a first look, first impressions. I was at Ross and found a really cool pair of running shoes. They're actually meant for both the road and trail. The brand is Hoka. You've heard of them probably, maybe not, but if not, it's a good shoe to run with and to walk with. And also I think is a good alternative to other options. Usually great discounts can be found at stores like Ross, you know, outlet department stores. So what I really like about this, and we'll get into that, is first and foremost, it costs $55. So, the past couple of weeks we've been reviewing shoes for travel, for the upcoming travel season, for summer, for spring break. By the way, also at Ross, a ton of luggage on display, at least at my Ross. So, it's that time of year, and shoes that are good for this occasion, you know, travel, spring, summer, going places, seeing new things, getting out, being active. This was a really good find, I thought. So, also, one thing I needed to mention is the price range for this brand of shoe. Uh, this was $55. Of course, that's pretty good savings, and there are drawbacks or takebacks, and we'll take a look at that. But for this brand, expect to pay uh, between $100 and $150 for something new. One thing that's extremely important to mention is the selection or the availability of these things. Sometimes it's hit or miss. Um, this was the only pair on store shelves that I was able to find, especially in my section, which is uh, 10 to 13, right around that area. Uh, this is a 10 and a half. Now, typically I wear a size 11, but was not able to find a size 11. So we'll talk about that because I did try these on and it's important actually how this fit as a 10 and a half. In this video, not so much a shoe review, rather what you can find at Ross this time of the year, spring, summer, travel. But first and most importantly, the overall build quality and some of the take backs. So just to summarize what we've talked about previously, momentarily, we've talked about, you know, color. I think this is great for travel. I think this is that time of year that you can find something like this at Ross. Uh, don't expect to find the size that you want or maybe even the shoe that you want. Uh, it will vary depending on where you live. We've reviewed other shoes in the past that I think have been great for travel, but those were new. This is a budget option and some of those other shoes have been for the trail, but mainly for jogging and walking and like I said, look great for travel. And this is actually a good option for both road and trail and also for travel. So this is kind of like a really uh, great bang for your buck. But okay, let's finish off this first impressions and opener by talking about uh, some of the take backs because I think this being from Ross is what you should e expect and not be turned away by. So first and foremost is uh, just little minor things like this sticker on the inside with the sizing on it. Great to see that it's a 10 and a half, right? But after buying the shoe, uh, not, you know, easy to take off. It's stuck fairly flush to the sole of the shoe. So safe to say a permanent mark and just other little things like writing on the bottom of this left shoe here uh, around the branding too, right? Like they couldn't write it somewhere else. Just little things like that you'll find. Um, luckily though, the sticker is on the inside of the shoe, not on the outside. So um, not visible wearing it on foot, but getting into it does subtly remind you that you bought something on sale or maybe even uh, a B-grade item. So is this a B-grade item? And the best way to find out is trying the shoe on. Now, in store, of course, it's easy to do. You can do it right there. But me being me, I brought the shoe home first so that I could give you, you know, a good, valuable, honest opinion. So. The shoe that I typically buy is a size 11, uh, but this is a 10 and a half. Now, 
What I usually recommend for a shoe like this is to buy it true to size. Uh, there is always a catch with buying, you know, something discounted, especially when it's heavily discounted, like a Hoka running shoe, right? This is a really good, high quality shoe. Um, but what I have found actually is, yes, it was tight at first, uh, just getting into the shoe. And actually what did help with that was the uh, pull tab back of the shoe. It's easy to pull the shoe um, onto my foot. Um, but after wearing this for an hour, it actually started loosening up. It wasn't squeezing or pinching. Um, it wasn't you know, cutting off circulation or anything like that. One test I like to show on this channel is flexing it like that. But you can also see um, how rigid it is. So it is a rugged appearance, as you can see, a little bit more rugged than the Air Presto like two weeks ago. That, like I said, was more of a dress sneaker. Um, it's also lightweight mesh, flexible, um, and comfortable to wear, fit like a glove. Uh, this, though, as you can see, a little bit more scaled up, closer to what we reviewed back in December, the Trail 4 GTX. It's clear to see that it is rugged, not something that I would dress up and go out to dinner with. Um, great for travel, getting from place to place, you know, walking down the street maybe, uh, catching a cab, you know, walking through some puddles and rain if it's wet out. I would even say it's got traction on the side of the shoe, that's how rugged and built up it looks, right? Uh, this um, is a separate tongue, so probably ideal, you know, for getting small pebbles out and stuff like that. It's easy to adjust, is basically the gist of that. And most importantly, uh, owing to its functionality and overall build quality and how the shoe can be worn, it can be adjusted, and it does have a removable foot orthotic. Okay guys, so in conclusion, this shoe I picked up at Ross, I think this is a good example of something you can find at Ross, especially now given it is the spring summer travel season. By the way, aside from, you know, tennis shoes and clothing, you can get those other necessities to travel like backpacks, duffel bags, suitcases, things like that. They had plenty of that stuff on display, in fact, more than I have ever seen before. So that, I think, just indicates the type of items that they have in there. And I think this one is a good example of that. I think this is probably great for travel, for taking with you to go on a nice hike, uh, you know, do some birding, some nature watching, and overall being fit and active. This is good for both the trail and the road, and at a discounted price of $55. There are some take backs, but they are, like I showed you earlier, on the bottom of the shoe and on the inside of the shoe respectively, not visible to the outside. Everything else looks pretty good. Uh, they fit well given they were a half a size too small. Typically I wear a size 11. These being a 10 and a half, I thought they fit comfortably actually. So perhaps in the future, buying shoes a 10 and a half is something I will consider. So even though it's not the best store to shop at to get what you want exactly, you know, feel free to or experiment and try things on at the store. I had good luck with this shoe. As you can see, it fit great for a 10 and a half. My name is John. I really hope you enjoyed this quick first impressions review. This, I think, is a good comparison to the Brooks Ghost 14 from last week. Pretty much the same color, the same type of shoe. A little bit different, but this, you know, obviously being marked down, last year's item, what have you, and I thought it was just as good, if not better, than the Brooks Ghost 14. So, hit that like button. I really hope you enjoyed watching today's video. Comment down below for more. Subscribe. Share this video with friends and family, and hit that bell icon to get notified when we post to YouTube, because I picked this up at Ross that does make this a big box good. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.